Hi, I'm Alison and welcome to the China Repair Studio. So today I thought I would show you how to use a gold powder just to highlight some pieces of gold relief. Now, for instance, I have a beautiful Femal Rose vase here, one of a pair, and it has, I think these are lizards, and as you can see here, it's sort of faded and the gold gilding has worn away. Now, there are certain types of gold you can use. You have gold leaf, which is lovely, and then there's things like, for instance, gold paint. Um, but today I'm going to use the Treasure Gold Powder. Now, you can get hold of these. This comes from a place in London, in Chelsea, called Green and Stone. And unfortunately, I think you can only buy it. You can buy it, in, obviously, in England. And if you do buy it abroad, the shipping is so expensive, it's ridiculous. But I'm sure there are alternatives on Amazon in your country. So if you can just look on that, if not, some, you know, something very similar. Now, the gold on here, what I like about it is the colour tone. It's not too bright and brash. It's not too yellow. It's more of an old gold, more of a bronzy gold, which I think will work very well on here. Now, obviously, it's a larger piece section here, so this is perfect. Now, when I'm using oh, uh, any gold powder, it's really important to place it on some kitchen roll or an old cloth. Otherwise, bits of gold powder will go everywhere because it does tend to crumble and flake when you're using it. So, what we need to do now is take our paint brushes. Now I have two. I'm going to apply the gold powder, one with some kitchen roll and two with some paint brushes. One for applying the powder into little crevices and the other one I would use probably, although I won't be able to show it in this demonstration, probably 24 hours later because I then I would like to seal the gold in with some Rustin's ceramic glaze and which I have here. You can buy readily on Amazon and also what I tend to do with the Rustings ceramic glaze because it's quite large I decant it into a smaller uh, jar here because it does dry very quickly and you don't want to keep opening and closing the large bottle here so I do put it into here right so let's start so let's first of all I'm going to do the large sections first as you can see here and I'm going to use some kitchen roll so just take off a piece of kitchen roll wrap your finger around and then take the treasure this is treasure gold and then you just need a little, little bit like that and then just start to dab on where it needs as I say it will flake off a bit and you do need to keep applying over and over again better to have lots of smaller amounts rather than one big load and just keep reapplying now it doesn't have to be perfect but this is quite good it's if you want it to look natural you don't want it to stand out like a sore thumb and look completely different you want it to look as if it's always been been like this or how it was when it was first made Now, as you can see here, it's starting to take shape now. If you do get any extra gold on any other pieces here, for instance, you can just wipe it off with a damp cloth. Then let's have a look here. Right, so now we've done the main body, as you can see, you can see the difference now from where the sole is faded and it's quite natural, same colour, same colour tone and there's just one or two little gaps I'm going to do which sometimes the finger just can't get into those crevices and that's where a paintbrush comes in. So if you just take a paintbrush, again just give it a little dab, you don't need much. And then you can just work it in.
Right, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's looking really good. As I say, it's lifted it up without being too obvious and just toned it in. 